Welcome back guys to UC Organics. Today is June the 18th and I want to give you guys an update on the uh, melon patch. This is the Kajari Rich Sweetness and Tiger Melon. Now as you can see, the Tiger Melon is about six feet tall. It's almost at the peak of the uh, trellis. The Rich Sweetness Melon is about two feet behind and the Kajari melon it's about two feet behind as well but the most interesting part of this patch is that the Kajari melon has already began to produce fruit we've got about four or five Kajari melons that have already been fertilized let's see if we can find them okay we've got Let's go back around we've got one here we've got one right there we've got one here We've got one right there. Now, typically, most melons, when they don't get fertilized, um, they are turn yellow and fall off. These seem to be uh, getting a little bit larger. Um, it's still early. Uh, I won't know for a couple of more days, so I'll keep you guys updated as to the growth. Um, now, as far as the rich sweetness melon, as you can see right there, that one is yellow. That one did not get fertilized. So it's going to fall off. Um, but we've got plenty of male flowers. And we've got side shoots where females are beginning to uh, emerge. So I expect any day now that we'll have plenty, plenty of uh, melons coming off of this patch. Let me step back and show you guys again what this trellis system looks like. As you can see, they are growing straight up. Now, take note, I'm putting a zip tie about every eight inches, as you can see. And this is almost daily, guys. I mean, these things are growing very, very fast. And as you can see, the, shot, the side shoots here, the side shoots are where these females are coming from. And I noticed that on the Kajari melon as well. Um, so at every node, you get one of these side shoots and you get a female and male flower. So um, as it grows up, I continue to weave. I weave those side shoots in and out of the uh, trellis system to keep them managed so that we don't have all types of uh, wind blockage. Uh, everything being all in cluster and as you can see down below I removed all of the bottom leaves bottom shoots so that we can get good airflow and then we can see exactly what's going on um, very important uh, they've also been sprayed with uh, neem oil uh, to prevent the biting bugs uh, chewing on them as well as diseases now what I have saw so far is um, a one bug trying to lay eggs caught it got it killed so um, you just have to constantly watch and see what's going on pay close attention to um, you know the things that are happening with the plants but um, keeping it watered twice a day six o'clock in the morning six o'clock in the evening now on those days where we have uh tremendous heat uh last week it was 100 uh 102 degrees um i give it a third and fourth watering again just watering the root system never putting water on the plant itself uh you know we don't want uh, powdery mildew uh we don't want any type of uh, fungal disease developing so as you can see, we've got uh, full growth. Um, I did a lot of leaf pulling and leaf thinning over here as well, 
just like I do on the grapevines, remove all the large leaves that are blocking the wind. Um, and it seems to be working because we've got new growth growing everywhere. That main stalk, that main vine, I continue to guide it straight up. And the side shoots, I just weed those in and out of the trellis system. And that will um, continue to keep it organized. Uh, the bees can continue to focus on the plants to pollinate. And I'll focus on hand pollinating as well. So, um, all in all, we're looking really, really good. Now, these plants have another five, almost ten feet to grow. So, they're going to grow all the way from where they are now, all the way up top, and down the backside. So, we've got plenty of space for these things to grow. Uh, so, we're going to see how that works. Um, again, um, first time messing with these melons. Uh, everything seems to be going very well. And it looks like I saw a fertilized rich sweetness melon right there. That one has not turned yellow. Uh, it has curled down. The flower has gone in and the melon is getting a little bit larger. So we're going to see exactly how that goes. I'll keep you guys updated in probably about a week or two. Uh, to let you know exactly what the melons look like and um, how well it's doing. Um, other than that, as I always say, if I can do it, you can do it. All you have to do is get started. You see organic backyard trellis system, milling patch. Until next time, happy gardening.